all underpin democratic institutions. I would like to highlight two challenges in democratic institutions and democracy in general. The first challenge is to put them in place. But that's not the only challenge. There is another challenge once. Thank you very much for your statement. Now I wish to give the floor to the Tursam Center for Strategic Studies, uh, followed by the Norwegian Helsinki Party. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Moderator. Uh, my today's speech is about democracy and political rights in Azerbaijan Republic. First, I want to inform you that the oil and gas rich Azerbaijan has made a huge progress in the past two decades in consolidating democracy and increasing prosperity. I want to talk about the countries improving democratic development and rapidly shifting facts. I may call, I may call my country a nation with an Eastern mentality and Western pragmatism. No doubt that Azerbaijan has made great progress toward democracy, noting that there is still a road ahead. My today's speech comes at a time when nearly a dozen presidential candidates, including incumbent or President Ilham Aliyev, are campaigning for presidential seat in a vote slated for next month on 9 October, offering a glimpse into Azerbaijan's domestic politics, economic development and foreign policy, I present a country that rose from the ashes in a troubled region, uh, still facing spasm of poverty and devastating wars. The Azerbaijan authorities have taken very important steps in establishing democratic institutions, political parties and pluralism, and that the establishment and strengthening the both democratic processes and institutions is the responsibility of the Azerbaijan government. I want to talk about an independent media and must say that unhindered internet access provides a very wide platform for any political force in the country to present its program to the electorate. I want to point to a number of bloggers, political parties, media outlets, internet TV channels and radio stations as evidence of the step-by-step -step progress of democracy in Azerbaijan. Democracy is not a concept like an apple that you buy and make it happen said late President Haider Aliyev, who argued for a long process of managed democracy. More than 15,000 Azerbaijan students are studying abroad, which means the creation of a new intellectual class that will provide fertile ground for Azerbaijan's economic and political development in the future. I assure that measures to ensure full democratic conditions for the elections are underway. I decline to say these conditions are fully established now because the process is ongoing on and progressing. Also, the idea of perfect elections is token even in leading advanced democracies. Azerbaijan will take necessary step, steps and measures to ensure that the will of the people is expressed in genuine, free and fair elections. Regarding internet freedoms, I underline that the government has always been against imposing restrictions and it, will, it always will be. Also, it has significantly cut the price of internet access and that the post-Soviet country has turned from an internet transit country into a nation that is directly connected to the global network of the World Wide Web. My country is the only CIS member that has introduced 4G and has the fastest growing mobile network. The government is supporting the idea of transparent, open and rapid improvement of the internet and rejected the claim that the web is being controlled. Dozens of web TV and radio stations, as well as hundreds of pro-government and outspoken bloggers, are contributing to the open nature of the web. I want to point to Facebook as an example of major platform for politi political activism in Azerbaijan. It will be impossible for any government to control the social media platform. We do not have any desire or intention to do that anyway. It's absolutely normal that opposition activists are posting staff's messages on Twitter and that this reflects competition. However, we warn against making personal insults, so hiding behind the walls of the virtual world and insulting someone is a criminal act. Regarding the overall situation in the South Caucasus, I must say that Azerbaijan, blessed with abundant natural creatures, is located in an important geostrategic location, bordering with flashpoint Iran and sitting atop oil rich and huge untapped gas reserves. Azerbaijan is among the countries that provide energy security for Europe and is a key transit country for the planet. 2014 pull out of NATO troops and military hardware from Afghanistan. Azerbaijan is rapidly becoming a country that shaped the region future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your statement.
Now I give the floor to the Norwegian Helsinki Committee, followed by the Norwegian Center for Human Rights Protection from Kazakhstan.